in NYC and I am back with another video. Yay! If this is your first time here on my channel, come on in. My name is Teneza. I am the mother of three kind. Thank God all three of my kids are kind kids living in the heart of New York City. I do have a second family on these YouTube streets, my tribe, and I would love to invite you to join me. All you have to do is smash that button the one down below, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, subscribe down below. Once you do subscribe, thank you for the support. Make sure that your notifications are on so that every time I post a video, you get the alert. I'm really enjoying this get ready with me story time. I really am. Really enjoyed sharing baby girls labor and delivery story. I really am enjoying this one-on-one -on -one time with us. This is a story time of how my identity was stolen. Oh, no. Crazy, right? Rewind the clock, 2012. A baby girl, she was due on November the 11th. She ended up coming early on November the 2nd. I'll actually link that story time down below. Hurricane Sandy had hit New York the Sunday before she was born. She was born the following Friday. Because Hurricane Sandy had hit New York City, there was no power. Our hospital happened to be on a generator. There were hospitals that were closed because of that. We had hospital personnel in all departments from other hospitals working at where I gave birth, Beth Israel. Living my best life, newborn baby. Husband's home with me, my mom is with us. Living our best life. Just enjoying my brand new baby. Life is good, life is great. One evening, I'm minding my own business in my apartment with my baby, I get a phone call. Ring, 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 hello. It is Target calling to confirm my new credit card. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Hi, we're, this is Target, just calling to confirm your application for a Target credit card. What? What are you, what the? Excuse, excuse me? <laughs> Tribe, I had never applied for a Target credit card. I had never applied for a Target credit card. You know what that means, right? Best friends, someone had stolen my identity. Someone that had access to all of my information including my phone number because that's how they call me a social security number someone had access to my phone number someone had access to my name my address all of the above one of the most startling things i've ever experienced really proud of my credit really proud of getting out of credit card debt i can give you that story time if you want i'm really really proud of being fiscally responsible. No credit card debt, no debt, thank God. Someone, a stranger, not even from New York City because the target was in Mount Vernon. My theory is, is that it was at the hospital because it happened after I gave birth. That's the only time in recent memory that I had provided all of my personal information, my address, phone number, everything. I alerted them that that was not me. I had not applied for a Target credit card. Please cancel it. Mom of three in NYC, I live in Manhattan. Mount Vernon is above the Bronx. I had to actually go to Mount Vernon to file the police report to have this taken off of my credit. I thought that that was it, Target. When Target called me to confirm details for my new card, I thought that that was it. Lo and behold, Tribe, why do I start getting credit card statements? J. Crew, Avenue, Express, Limited. Imagine being at your apartment, minding your own business, doing, being a good citizen, being a good, responsible, fiscally responsible citizen. Thousands and thousands of dollars, Tribe, that have been charged to these credit cards that have been opened by another person. When they shop, they shop. They did. They did, they came in with their agenda. They had an agenda and a plan, all the above, because they shopped. 
at the credit card statements and how much they were spending. I'm a new mom. All I'm trying to do is live my best life and be the best mom I can be. Instead, I have to sit here, call all of these doors, cancel out the card. It literally took seven years to clear everything off of my credit report. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being mail? It's in your name with your address on it with these credit cards, Victoria's Secret. I mean, they shop shopped. They shop shopped with my identity. They must have made a fake ID. I just came to the hospital to have a baby. My identity was taken by somebody, in my opinion, that worked there because again, that's the only place in the last few months where I had given all of my information. Thank God my credit is the highest it's ever been now. That was frustrating also at first was that it was going to take time for all this to get cleared up. And just the time and the energy it took to go to Mount Vernon, a police report, contact all of the credit agencies, explain over and over again what had happened to me. My identity had been stolen and they went on a shopping spree. They sure did. And also I had to provide that police report to the, all the stores where the credit cards had been opened to show them that it was not me, I was a victim, because I did not want to be held responsible for those credit card payments. I'm not paying a payment, what? I didn't buy those, what? That's another reason why I had to have a police report. I had to show J. Crew and The Gap and Avenue, all these stores that I didn't make these purchases. What a wild story. I just thank God that it's all finally cleared up and in the past. I hope that you have an amazing, amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye tribe.